It was once the jewel of Suffolk County. Just check out these photos here. The old photos of Lake Ronkonkoma shoreline, just full of people. But these days, it's often closed to swimming after decades of decline. And John Diaz tells us how a team of scientists and generations of locals are fighting to bring the landmark back to life. This is a 1929 speedster. Chances are you won't see anyone driving a car like this down to Lake Ronkonkoma anymore. But town historian Ellen Oakfist says there was a time when families like her own did exactly that. My grandfather was a, the ace lifeguard in the 1903. For generations, this was the summer hotspot, a place where families made memories, swimming and fishing until the water started to change. I was in the lake when I was 10 years old. That was it. We were all pulled out and we weren't allowed to swim anymore. Experts say pollution, runoff and neglect has left the lake unsafe for decades. I know people that are in kayaks picking up kitchen sinks off the floor of the lake. But now, after years of frustration, local leaders say they finally have the answer to make real change. We have the, the technology necessary to clean this up. Thanks to new funding, a team of Stony Brook University scientists will monitor the lake four times a year, studying nitrogen levels and implementing a long-term restoration plan. There are days in the summertime where we have to shut down Lake Ronkonkoma to swimmers, and we don't want that to happen anymore. For lifelong locals like Ed and Colleen Edge, who got engaged here in the 1970s, this cleanup is more than science, it's personal. It'd be hot as heck during the summertime, and we come down here right after dinner and go swimming and cool off. Now the problem won't get fixed overnight. They're predicting it could take up to 10 years to clean up the lake. From Lake Ronkonkoma, Long Island, John Diaz, CBS News, New York.